chapter 19, Surah Maryam. Do you know there is a chapter in the Quran? Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Performance. Today I'm here with a guest, Precious IG, Andy. And we'll be reacting to Amedidat, Mary in the Quran by Sheikh Amedidat. Wow. I am really very surprised that just like we Christians, we have Mary in the Bible. Bible. Mary is also in the Quran. I believe this is going to be a very educative message to also enlighten most especially the Christians. Yeah. So let's start with the video. Go. In the Quran, chapter 19. Chapter 19, Surah Maryam. You know there is a chapter in the Quran called Surah Maryam, meaning chapter Mary. Wow. Who's this Mary? Who's this Mary? Mother of Muhammad? Hearing this. Hearing this. No. Yeah. Yeah. She's the mother of Jesus Christ. In honor of her name, there is a chapter enshrined in the Quran, chapter 19, as Surah Maryam. As a, such an honor is not to be found given to Mary, the mother of Jesus, even in your Bible. Do you know that? You have no such book as Mary in your Bible. It right this now. is the... Are you a magician? <laughs> this is the King James Version, the Protestant Bible. 66 books. It starts with Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and, blah, 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 and then Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Peter, Paul, James. Mary is not one of them. Mary is not one of them. In the Roman Catholic Bible, same, same. Mary is not one of them. In the Quran, you have a chapter called Maryam. Why is Palatil Malaika to Ya Maryam? With the meaning. With the meaning. So behold, the angel said, O oh Mary, in Allah has tafaki, Allah has chosen thee, wa taharaki, and purified thee, wa tafaki, Allah nisail alameen, chosen thee above the women of all nations. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is described in the Quran as a woman chosen above the women of all nations. And I'm saying that this honor, this high honor, is not to be found given to Mary, the mother of Jesus, even in the Christian Bible, whether the Protestant version or the Roman Catholic version. I have them both. Nowhere you find anything like this. It continues. Ya Maryam Uknuti li Rabbiki wasjudi warka i marraqeen. So, O Mary, worship thy Lord devoutly. Prostrate thyself and bow down in prayer with those who bow down. This is part of the tidings of the things unseen which was revealed unto thee, O messenger by inspiration. News was given to Mary, the mother of Jesus, about the birth of the Holy Son. She says, how can this thing be when I know not a man? In the biblical language, no means sex. No, no, to no means no in sexually. Now she doesn't know a man. She knows her uncle, her, her fathers, her neighbors. Surely she knows other men. But no, no, no. No in the biblical language means sex. When I, in the Quran it says no man has touched me. Again it means not touched me, means had sex. Both the Quran and the Bible are saying the same thing. The replies to them are revealing. In the Holy Bible, the answer to Mary's protest was that the Holy Ghost will come upon thee. I'm reading. I'm reading the Bible to yes. you. Look. The Holy Ghost will come upon thee and the power of the Most High will overshadow thee. Now that gives you a mental picture. The Holy Ghost is a person. That's what the Christians say. The Father is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Ghost is a person, but they're not three persons, but one person. I don't know whether you heard that expression. That's but he's a person. This Holy Ghost will come on Mary. How? See, it gives you in your mind. Mary, you think, how? Like a man and a woman, like a bull and a cow. How? The Almighty will overshadow her. How? No, no, it gives you a mental picture. So I'm suggesting that it gives you a mental picture. You know, how? The Holy Ghost will come on her. We know it's a miracle. We agree it's a miracle. But the language that you're using, the language is down to earth language. The Quran says, Waizakada Amran Fa Innama Yakulu Lahu Kun Fayakun. 
of God to create Jesus without a human father. He says, Kun, he says, be, and it is. For him, it's just to will it, and he comes into being. That in, the, in these verses, the story is that the mother of Mary, she, she was barren for a long period of time. And she prayed to God. So, oh my Lord, if you give me a child, I'll devote my child for temple services, for your service. I'll dedicate her. And God heard her prayer, and she became pregnant from her husband. And in time she delivered the child. And the child happened to be a female. And she was disappointed. She had vowed that that child she will dedicate. Imagining, thinking it will be a son, a male. But it happened to be a female. What is she to do? She had vowed. So she buys her time when Mary was big enough that she can look after herself, her toiletries and all, toiletries and all that. She takes this child to the temple for handing over. And the priest in the temple of Jerusalem, they seeing this beautiful child. Everybody wants to be a godfather. You know godfather? That's how the Westerners say, you know, to look after the child as his own. Everyone says, look, I'll look after the child. The other one says, I'll be the godfather. I'll look after the child. And there's competition. So they started casting lots. Head or tail, head or tail. And it came to the turn of Zechariah. Zechariah won the toss. The father of John the Baptist. He won the toss. But in things like this, there's always a dispute. You, say, you didn't play fair. You know, you didn't throw the dice nicely. <laughs> so there was a dispute. So the Quran says, the Quran tells us, that, oh Muhammad, you were not there when they cast lots with arrows as to which of them should be charged with the care of Mary. Nor was thou with them when they disputed the point. How do you know these things? How does Muhammad know? He is an illiterate man, a man who doesn't know how to read or write. How does he know this? So, Allah gives the answer. This is part of the tidings of the things unseen, which we reveal unto thee, O messenger, by inspiration. This is how he got this knowledge. Whatever is given to him, he's got no choice, he's got to utter them. That Mary, a Jewess, the mother of Jesus, she is a woman chosen above the women of all nations. It doesn't make sense. When the Jews were looking down upon the Arabs for 3,000 years, do you know that? They said Father Abraham had two wives, Sarah and Hajra. They had Sarah and Hagar. We, the Jews, they say we are the children of Sarah. The first son to Abraham, Isaac. And from Isaac to Jacob and Jacob to Judas and Judas and his brethren, the twelve tribes of Israel, Jacob and all twelve tribes of Israel, and we are the Jews, the chosen people. Coming from this noble ancestry of Abraham through Isaac. Ishmael is the son of Hagar, Bibi Hajra. Ishmael is the first son and through him the Arabs. They are cousins. Father Abraham is the father of the Jews as well as the Arabs. But the Jews have been looking down upon the Arabs for 3,000 years that these Arabs are Hagarines. In the literature they call the Arabs Hagarines, means the children of Hagar, Bibi Hajra. And Islam, they say, is Hagarism. <laughs> the religion of the children of Hagar, of the Arabs. Hagarism. <laughs> These are the titles they give us. The Jews, our cousins. And yet this man, Muhammad, is honoring a Jewess to the skies. Amazing. It's unbelievable. You can't believe. I said, if Muhammad did that job, why do you do such a thing? It's a silly thing, Wallah. It's a silly thing. Hmm? He's offending the Christians and he's offending the Arabs the Arabs naturally they feel that another Arab woman might have been a, a likely candidate not his own mother Muhammad's mother not even his mother not his wife not his daughter when we believe that his daughter Fatima will be the leader of the women of paradise but no even her name is not mentioned in this book her name is not mentioned Muhammad's mother's name is not mentioned not a single of his wife's names are mentioned amazing this book so people get puzzled you see when they get a book like this you present them they are looking for Muhammad his family history and you don't find it you wonder who is his father 
You know his father's name is not there. You don't know where he was born. He's not here. Do you know that? Where, who was his father? Who was his mother? Where he was born? Where he died? Nothing. Nothing at all. Why? Jesus, his, his enunciation, the good news, is described in two places in the Quran. Two places. Muhammad's birth is not mentioned at all. Muhammad is mentioned five times, Jesus 25 times, Moses 136 times. <laughs> no, no, no. This is a very amazing book. The Westerner, see, he just can't seem to grasp. He is looking for a book. We'll tell him once upon a time. He's, he's used to once upon a time syndrome. Everything must be once upon a time. Once upon a time. He's looking for once upon a time. And this book is not a once upon a time. It is nice, nice, nice. Wow. Cool. What an amazing message. Believe me, this indeed is very educative. Through this video, you can tell Ahmed that is a very intelligent man. You can tell whenever Ahmed that speak, people are ready to listen. People are ready to hear what you want to say. Because any because Ahmed that is really a very intelligent man. I'm from what he has said about the story of Mary. I'm really very surprised. You no, know, we are all Christians. We are surprised that Mary is in the Quran and yeah. Mary even have a chapter in the, in the Quran. Quran. And me as a Christian, I know there is no chapter in the yeah. Bible that is named Mary. But to my greatest surprise, there is even a chapter in the Quran that is named Mary that is basically all about Mary. Wow. This really gives me the understanding that we have a lot in common, even though we have our differences, but we have a lot in common and we should be able to learn from one another to make better decisions on the religion that have been presented to us. There's no need for us to fight one another. There's no need for us to make trouble, but there is a need for us to come to mutual understanding for us to be able to learn from one another because if you take a look at our religion be you a christian or be you a muslim most of us were born into a christian home and some of us were born into a muslim mm -hmm. home then as we were born we accepted the religion we grew mm -hmm. in the religion but there comes a time in the life of every man in the life of every person where you become of age and you you know your left from your right you know you know the good, you know the bad, I think there comes a time in the life of every person where you can, you know, make your own decision, get better understanding, get better views, and from that, take your ground and make your own decision. Because this video is very educative. And from what you say, that Jesus' name is even mentioned, I think, 25, 25 times, times 25 times uh, in the Quran. And even Prophet Muhammad, that the Muslim, you know, yeah. regard him as a very, his name is mentioned, I think, five, five. times in the Quran. Only. And even Moses, Moses was mentioned, I think, 136 times or 126 times. Okay. So, which means we believe in Jesus, which means same thing, they also, the, they also same thing. We have in the Bible, they also have the similar Quran. in the Quran. I think there's a need for us to be able to learn from one another. Just like the Bible says, Mary is regarded as God favored Mary. And same thing we have in the Bible. This video has really enlightened me that I'm ready to do more research about the Quran and do more research to get better understanding. What do you also think? Like, I'm really shocked because this is my very first time of hearing this. Is your voice? I'm really shocked. This is my first time of hearing such teaching. The man is very good. Yeah. He's a good teacher. Like, he's intelligent. He's every quality that a good teacher has. He has it. He's very good. You know, uh, saying this Quran and the uh, Bible, bro, like, we are all the same. With this, I know that 
Christians and Muslims are the same. The difference is just the Quran and the Bible. Their belief is also like the Christians. Why the Christians are the Christians like them too? Everything is just the same. So, like he said, I think this is a time for us to stop killing each other and fighting each other. Let's live like one. Let's live like brothers and sisters. Because there's no difference like rather like in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the in the in the Christian and the Muslim. There's no difference at all. Thank you. Yes. What do you also think? I have really fell in love with the personality of Sheikh Ahmed Idad. Because the man is a man of principles and always speaks a lot of facts, backed by both the Bible and, and the Quran. Quran. Yes. So I'm looking forward to reacting to more of his videos and finding yeah. out more basic truth about the world. Wow, wow. So we also like to hear your comments. What do you also think about this video by Ahmed Didat? And don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day. Love yeah. you. Bye. Bye.